Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then welcome. My name is Christina and on my channel, we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So if you're looking for the best and most honest how to's and reviews from a consumer's perspective, then make sure you subscribe to my channel, you like this video and you leave any comments that you have for me down below. Before we get started, if you guys are interested, please make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. I have my regular Instagram, which is more of like influencer content, as well as my brand photography Instagram. That is what I do as a career. I'm actually in the beauty photography realm, so I take a lot of photos and product photos of skincare, makeup, all of that stuff and i also put reviews in my captions like full in-depth reviews as well so if you guys are interested in stuff like that which i assume you are because you're watching this video then please make sure to give it a follow either one or both that would be amazing <laughs> This is going to be another swatch video as well as a review video for some Glossier Ultra Lips. These are brand new lip products from Glossier. It's their most recent launch, I believe. I am kind of late to the game. These came out about a month ago, I want to say, and I did pick these up during their friends and family sale, which was a 20% off sale. I was really excited about it. So I picked that up. I have all nine shades to show you guys. So if you're interested in seeing that as well as my review, Review. yes my review as well so I am going to be talking about these you trolls out there don't be like oh she talks so much just get to the swatches it is a swatch plus review video but anyways let's get into it if you're interested <laughs> Thank you. 
Getting into the specs of these, just so you know, I am wearing the shade Trench on my lips right now in case anyone is wondering right off the bat. So they come in a package just like this, very standard glossy packaging here. The pink and the white, super minimalist, and the shade is right there at the bottom. All of the shades are labeled right there as well as on the tube. The tubes are super adorable. They're in the light pink shade that Glossier is pretty much known for. It says Glossier on the front and then Ultra Lip on the back. They do have little G's embossed onto the actual lipstick and I think they're really cute. There are nine shades in total available currently and they retail for $18, but like I said, I did get them on that discounted rate for 20% off. Glossier doesn't often have a uh, sales I don't think but I'm sure that you can find a rep discount code somewhere on YouTube not me personally but somewhere on YouTube just search Glossier discount code and I'm sure something is gonna pop up for you so let's read a little bit about these products it's a rich moisture of a balm the sheen of a gloss and the buildable color of a lip tint without the hassle of layering multiple products so three in one and you guys know if you're familiar with my channel I really enjoy multitasking products it is a balmy 
formula. It's luxe, plush, and so comfortable. And Cocoon's Lips in Smoothing Shine and Color. It has a blend of four molecular weights of hydrating hyaluronic acid that draws in and holds moisture. It also has a three oil blend, which I will put the three oils right here for you guys. So that also locks in the moisture. And the pigmented color is buildable. So in the swatches, I do do one coat of each of the shades and then I build it up to their full color. Typically it's like two coats for each one. So I do one coat and then another swatch of the two coats. And I do that just to show you guys how buildable they are. All right, on to the review portion. And yes, this is a review portion, not the swatch portion. So all you trolls out there trying me, go on to the swatch portion of it. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of mean comments recently about me talking too much. So I'm sorry that I'm trying to be very in depth with products that I review. Didn't think that was a bad thing. <laughs> so from my experience, like I said, I did try out this product. I actually tried Trench as the first one. I put it on my lips and immediately it melts into the lips. So when it's brand spanking new and you still have that G embossed onto the top, once I touched it to my lips, it immediately became super emollient. I instantly felt that balmy lip glossy formula. I would say that this is a perfect hybrid between a balm and a lip gloss because it's not too sticky. It's not too runny like a lip gloss, obviously, because lip glosses are like pure liquid. It still sticks enough for the pigment to stay on the lips for a pretty decent amount of time. I'm not gonna say a long period of time because this is not long wearing. They don't really leave stains. Well, from what I could tell so far just doing these swatches, I didn't have any staining on my lips. That doesn't go to say that the darker shades won't stain as they stay on your lips for a couple hours. I mean, I'll update on the description if I end up having that experience. Because they have this blend of lip gloss-like texture to it, it helps the color and pigmentation just stay on the lips longer, and overall, the product stays on your lips longer. From what I can tell, I don't smell anything really. There's no sweet scent or anything like that, so that's nice if you're sensitive to scents. You don't have to worry about that. The product is so emollient that you use a good amount, like a visible amount of the product. And I'll show you a clip of what it looks like when it's brand new in the tube versus two uses. And at this point I had only used Trench, the color Trench, um, twice. This could be a good thing. This could be a bad thing for some of you. For me, honestly, I don't mind because I have so many lip products at this point. I just want to have lip products that I love to use and use them up because I'm at a point where I can't just be hoarding lip products, you know, and I should have never done it. But really at this point, I'm like, I want to only keep products and colors that I know that I'm going to keep on rotation and be done with them when I'm done with them or repurchase them if I really love them. So, I mean, for me, it's a great thing that I can see myself physically going through the product. So pigmentation wise, I will say there is an obvious color on your lips. It is not just a tint. I enjoy that because I feel like it gives you an even amount of um, pigment, but it can be sheer. Some of the colors require more buildup, such as the lighter ones like Lucite and Villa. Those I can definitely build up to make them look more pigmented. This light pink, the Lucite shade, I feel like I could wear this like just as a bomb and this would actually be really pretty on a lip liner and then to give it a little bit of moisture and shine, I can put this on and it won't really change the shade of the lip liner per se because it is pretty light on pigmentation to begin with. I do enjoy that the pigmentation can be buildable because some of these lipsticks, they kind of look like two different shades in one. So the shade Fet. I really enjoy this. I felt like it gave me kind of a stain look, but again, it gave me an even stain. It looks like a very wearable, bright color, but it's not too much because I feel like the sheen makes it look a lot more natural than if this was a matte color, you know? As far as how comfortable it is on the lips, it is a perfect hybrid between a balm and a gloss. I don't think it's too sticky at all. It's really not 
sticky in the sense that a lip gloss would be sticky, you know? If I were to compare how this feels on the lips to another lip product, I would say personally that I think it feels like a lip oil because you can definitely feel it on your lips, but it's not sticky like most typical lip glosses will be or the thickness of a lip gloss. Not saying that lip glosses are too thick, but you know how lip glosses definitely have more of a layer on your lips than say a bomb. There was really no shade in this collection that I hated. The two I don't think I'll get much use out of are Ember and Caché. These are the two darker shades. I might not get a ton of use out of Portrait. This one is definitely like a brighter coral shade as well. But I mean, none of them look horrible in my opinion. I've never encountered a full range of lip shades that I thought looked pretty good on me. Like there's always been at least one shade that I knew that I probably was not going to be keeping. I think that they did a good job not only doing nude shades that all look the same or pink shades that all look the same. I feel like they covered the berry shade, they covered the red shade, they did a deep wine shade, a nude shade, and then a very light pink one. So I think it's a really great start. If they expanded this line, I would definitely be interested in purchasing more. $18 for this product, it's pretty pricey, I'm not gonna lie. But if this is going to replace a lip balm, a lip gloss, and a lip tint for you, that's three products that it would be replacing. So I can kind of justify it that way. I wouldn't say that this is going to be replacing a balm, but I do think that I will be wearing this in place of a lipstick and lip gloss combo. So it definitely serves its multitasking purpose. I'm going to show you guys on the screen right now my favorite to my least favorite. I'm going to number those for you and just rate them for you like I typically do. Glossier typically does offer bundles on their website, so definitely look for those. I'll link some bundles in the description down below for you if I find any. I don't know why there wasn't as much hype around these. I mean, Glossier definitely to to keep it very short, they were under some heat um in 2020 about how they treated their employees and you know the way that they ethically ran so that may have played a role in it i'm not quite sure they have been kind of flying under the radar a bit but i just wanted to get this video out for you guys i knew that this would be something that you were interested in i personally really wanted to try the formula glossier usually has some pretty standout formulations and some not so great ones as well. So I just wanted to test them out for you. In terms of comparing them to their previous lip products, I love these so much more than the Generation G lipsticks. I only owned, I think, maybe one or two of them, and I didn't want to purchase any more because I just felt like they were a little drying and they weren't giving me as much color payoff as I wanted. This does exactly what I want. It's hydrating on my lips and it gives me that pigmentation. So really no complaints here. The price tag is a little high, but what do you expect from Glossier, you know? <laughs> All right, guys, that's everything for this video. Please let me know what you think. If you're picking up any of these, let me know which shade you're going to pick up or which ones you have already. I would love to know. I hope you found this video enjoyable and informative. And if you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!